Hi, in the following video, we are going to have the exercise shown below. We will develop the exercise using the program DOVAS and DOVAS Pro 2.6. As we can see in the exercise, we have this portrait that has many conditions to be able to explain what this program offers, DOVAS and DOVAS Pro. But that doesn't mean that it is all what the program can develop. The program can develop many exercise themes and armor as well. So let's see the data input. And to do that, First, we have to enter the elements of the section, that is to say, the elasticity, the area, and the material. We can see in this case, in the exercise, we don't have the data area, so we are going to assume that it is an actually rigid problem that only gives us the relationship between inertias. To enter that consideration in the program, we can enter square, rectangle, circular, but we will choose other. We have to choose the unit, in this case, is ton meter and in elasticity, as it doesn't influence, we can leave it like that, but you can choose other and enter your own elasticity, or what is by default. As it is an actually rigid, we will assume that the area number is big, you can enter a big number. The inertia would be 1 because we have EI, and the second option, which is 3 EI. Okay, with that we enter the first part of the program. We go to the menu, we enter joints and coordinates and forces. Here we are going to enter coordinates. How do we assume the coordinates? Here in the exercise, according to the problem, how is that we will denominate our coordinates? Each joint would come to be the beginning and the end of a bar. Also, we will consider a joint where there are specific forces or joints. In this case, we have the joint numbering as follows. In the option X, we have x comma zero we don't have forces neither moments in the joint so we add the node would be 0 0.5 1 but we have a force of 5 ton positive because it's on the right we add joint number 3 would be 1 comma 2 there are no forces we add joint number 4 would be 2.5 and finally reaching the final part we have 6 comma 0 once we finish to enter the joints, we go to the menu, joints, and we go to supports. In this case, we have two supports. In the first joint, we have a built-in support, which is this option, and we add it. In the option number six, we have a mobile support, but if we notice, the exercise has an inclination angle, and we are going to put it here where it says, the angle has to be measured in clockwise angle. 45 degrees because this is how the picture indicates. We have entered the angle. We're not going to enter the springs here if not in a different tab. Then we go here to the springs. We have the spring in this joint that would be in the x direction of 1 ton meter. We can also apply twists. We can also apply vertical springs and radial springs. We have it here. It's the same if it's by this side or the other, but in order to be equal to the problem, I will put 180 to be exactly as the exercise indicates. We can also put displacements to the joints, but it will only allow us to put to the joints that have supports. We can see this in other exercise. In this case, the exercise doesn't have, but the program has the option to enter it. Now we go to frames. In the definition of the bars, we will have to define the start joint and the end joint. Also, choose the material or section that has been created. That, if you remember, was the first data we entered. Let's see how does this work. The bar number 1 will go from joint 1 to joint 2. And that bar, according to the exercise, we have 3i. It would come to be option 2 that we enter. From 2 to 3 will come to be as well as the option 2. And from 3 to 4 would come to be option 1 because it is EI. From 4 to 5 we will have op option 1 as well. And from joint 5 and 6 would have to be option 2 because it is 3 times I. We add and we have all our bars entered and we go on. We need to enter our loads so we have to assign our loads. For this the first bar we are going to enter we select and enter. It would be minus 2 because they are down in both cases. Here we can define types of trapezoidal rectangular loads. Except here, 
Here we have to do a little consideration. In this case, the exercise has a load consideration for this bar, but the program does not enter it as it is in the exercise. We have to make this conversion we see on the screen, which consists on breaking down the vertical load in a perpendicular load and an actual distributed load. Doing the calculation as indicated in the figure, we are going to have the following load that would be a ton and we are going to put a ton in a perpendicular direction and an actual load that would be a ton. We add, in this case we see that our load is pointing to the other side which has to be pointing. We select and put minus one to be able to change the direction and be according to the exercise. We also have the option to assign loads of temperature variation or manufacturing error. In this case, the exercise not, but we have the option to do it. We enter. Now our articulations. In this case, the exercise says that there is a frame in the joint that is in the middle, but the exercise does not select the joint and puts the frame. What we have to do is to create a frame. We have to articulate all bars that reach that joint, for example. In this bar, we have to articulate the final joint because it's the joint that arrives. We would need to articulate the initial joint, we got it here. And now all bars that reach this joint, we have them articulated. Therefore, it becomes a frame if we would want to develop an armor. We would simply articulate all the ends with this option, and all the bar ends would articulate, and that will become in an armor. That is not the case in this exercise. We have all the option that articulate is the last, so until then, we have entered all our exercise. Then we go to the tab number two, we press enter to calculate, and we have all the calculations made. The first thing we have to do is verify that everything we have entered is there. We enter in a unit of ton meter, but you can suddenly visualize the results in other unit changing it here. We go to the menu and choose actual force diagram. We have this actual force diagram. We can also visualize our shared force diagram and finally our bending moment diagram. If I would want to see in detail any of my diagrams, I would just have to click in each bar and I would see my diagrams in a much more detailed way. The same way you can do it for the bending moment diagram, we can click anywhere it could be in this bar and we have a much more detailed visualization. What else does the exercise give us? We can see the exercise, for example, from the bar number one in a more detailed way. And here we can enter what distance we want the value to give us. We can also rest the pointer on the bar and it will give us the value at any distance. We can also use it by entering here the value of x and we have the value of moment on the right. We also have our displacement, so we just rest the pointer on the joints and we will be able to see their displacement values in X, Y, and the moment. We can also change our units. Finally, we also have our restrictions. Our restrictions in supports, we have it here. We can see which are the reactions in the supports, the reactions on the two types of supports the reactions on the springs, we will enter scene reactions and we will put the option. Well, supposedly we don't have a reaction because we have a ton, but if we want to change it to kilograms, we can see that there is a minimal reaction. It's a very small reaction, maybe because of the spring coefficient is that there is a minimal reaction, but changing the unit, we can see that there is a reaction, but it's minimal. Up to here is what corresponds to the program DOBAS 9.1. If you would want to buy the program of DOBAS Pro 2.6, we could go to the option number 3. Being in tab number 3, we will realize the calculation pressing the Enter key. And we go to the menu and we will see in the structure. It shows us the structure, menu, general data. All that we have entered, we also have our degrees of freedom. It should be noted that the DOBAS program calculates the structures by the rigidity method or the matrix method. So we have our degrees of freedom, which considers all degrees of freedom in every joint. We have free, joint, free degrees and restricted degrees. We also have rigidity per bar in the local system. 
all its formulas with its calculations and their values replaced. We will have our local system, the formulas. Everything is step by step. Here we can change the bar. We also have the rigidities in the spring. In this case, in the node number one, we don't have any spring. In the node two, neither. But in the node three, we have one spring with constant one. We got it here. Once we have all the matrices, we only, the only thing we have left now is to assemble. We will make a total assembly of the structure. In this case, it's total of all the structure. Also, we will have our rigidity matrix organized by the degrees of freedom free and the degrees of freedom restricted. So, green will be the degree of free freedom and yellow will be our degree of restricted freedom. Now, we will have our matrix forces in the joints. We will simply add, we have two tons in joints too, therefore we fill two tons. We will also have our matrix in the bars and we'll calculate the bars of perfect embankment formula. We have our bars, bar by bar, their matrices. Now we assemble our matrix R2 that would be by the applied charges to the bars. Finally, the only thing we have left is to calculate R, that will become R1 minus R2. R1 would be the forces in the joints and R2 the forces in the bars. We don't have the value in R and then we calculate the value in R only of the degrees of free freedom. So we have RLL. Also, we got the displacement calculation of the degrees of free freedom, which is basically our unknown. In this case, we get 0, 0. Why? Because in the exercise, we have assumed that it is actually rated. Being actually rated, the area is very big. Therefore, displacement are significant by almost 0. So that's why when we round it as it is little, it is assumed to be zero. But when we assume values from the real section, we will have the displacement values that resemble to reality. Now we assemble all our degree of freedom D. We would have to assemble all joints in this case as the program rounds it to zero because it's very small. All of that would be zero. We also have the efforts at the end of the bar. Bar one, bar two. This will allow us to calculate our bending moment diagram and shared force diagram. We have all the values per bar and this we are going to translate in the graphics we see here. The bending moment that we have seen in the previous window, it also let us calculate the supports reaction. Here is the calculation that would be the total rigidity matrix by the matrix D plus R. All of this data we have calculated, we will replace in this equation and we will have all the results of the reactions. We would also have the reactions of the springs that in this case is zero. Why? Because as we said, it's actually rigid, the value is very small, so when we round it up in tons, it's zero. What we have seen in the previous tab, when we give it in kilograms, resemble a small number. Alright, that would be all. We have our shared force diagram, which is the translation of the numbers, but in the tab number 2, we have seen that it can be more detailed. To finish with the functions of Dobas Pro 2.6, the last one would be to be able to export all the data we have seen from the matrix development step by step to a calculation memory. For that, we go to tab 1.4. Notice that this tab will be visualized. When you open the file on the calculator, it won't be allowed, but there it will indicate how to do the procedure to be able to save it and then open it on the calculator. In this case, we have the file on the computer, so we will proceed to make the impression. First thing we need to do is to change the previous view of the document from portable device to computer. Here we can see that we have all our matrices that we have used through the procedure. So what we have to do is press Ctrl P and the following tab will appear. We configure as we are going to do next, print all visible in A4 size. The page rank is 1.4. Then we disactivate all the checks and save as PDF or you can save it where you prefer. I'll put page one. Now we will impress the second page. We press the down key and we go on till the page number one disappears. 
it disappeared. Now we do the same again. Control P, visible screen, page rank 1.4, and the page site is already. And now we save it as PDF. Page 2, we save it, and that's how you have to do with all the pages we have here from the development step by step. I have the files here, the page 1 and page 2, for example, I have a memory of calculation with all the pages. What we would do according to your PDF editor, what you would do is join all these pages for which we select and the click and combine into an Acrobat file. In this case, I use the program Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. We click combine and it will give us the result, the calculation memory of the entire procedure, step by step, so that you can print it. With this, we will finish. Anyone who wants to purchase the program can consult on the website www.dobasingenieria.site. You can send a mail to RGP Jimenez Marin and we will give all the information on how to acquire the program in the link found in the description of this video. We invite you to subscribe to this channel and follow us on Facebook as Dobas Ingeniería to be aware of all the news that we are going to get. See you in the next video.